Good morning, everybody. Well, it's actually after midday, so it's actually afternoon. How are we all doing today? Another fantastic night's sleep. I'm liking being able to sleep again. Uh, didn't do a follow up on my Matrix. I might wait till I can have a call with one of my friends. I might send you that. I think. I'm probably being too generous with a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 5. A 5, probably. Anyway, yes, uh, I uh, finished The Witch Season 2 on Netflix last night. Pretty good. I'm not super familiar with the law. Uh, I have started my Witch 3, though. I managed to make enough space on my Switch. By archiving the Outer Worlds to play. So, uh, yeah, got that started. Not got very far, he's got through opening tutorials. But no, that looks fun. I know that the the series and the game are sort of covering different things. I've probably spoiled some of the game for me, but not too much because I know the series isn't following the books exactly. <laughs> Don't know. Um, still feel fine. A bit snuffly, but. I'm usually about snuffling this time of year. Uh, I do another lateral flow today. And if today's is clear, and tomorrow's is clear, I can go out on Thursday and hopefully enjoy New Year and catch up on some uh, much needed celebratory drinks and hangouts with my friends. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be good. I'll uh, do a video later about today's test. But yeah, have a, what else did I do? So I watched Witches season two, really good. Liked all the character stuff. Um, uh, it's, some of the things in the last two episodes were a bit to me. Uh, I I don't know. I, it's just this repetitive motif of oh my god, she's the most important thing in the world. She's going to change the world. She's the savior of the world, or she's the damnation of the world. Like, it's a very burnt out trope. Um, the actors did a good job. Um, it's quite brutal, a lot of the stuff that happens in the last two episodes, too. I was like, eesh. Um, good, though. Good, though. Uh, it all sort of wraps up in a nice little bow, which is, I guess, okay. Uh, it was good, though. I enjoyed it. It's uh, overall better than the first series. I'd say. Because it is not as higgledy piggledy. Um, yeah. Uh, so, Witcher Season 2 was good. I started Witcher 3 on my Switch, which is good. Um, I watched Don't Look Up as well. Um, that was funny. It really annoyed me uh, um, for the first. I had to hatch the switch it off. I was like, "Oh God, this is far too irritating," um, and that's kind of the point that um, people act stupid uh, and um, frivolously and treat everything as a joke. Uh, it's about it's about um, an asteroid heading for Earth. It's on Netflix. DiCaprio and. What's her name? Forgot her name. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it's just basically about uh, when people need to be serious, they're just stupid and self-interested. Uh, but it did a bit too much of a good job of people in the face of impending doom being just like, <laughs> but funny. <laughs> oh, keep, stop being so down, man. Just that everything's positive all the time. No, there's a great speech from DiCaprio. I'm gonna, I might put it in here. And listen, full disclosure, I bought as many shares as I could, and I would advise oh, you to do this. You are such a shameless capitalist. Yeah. Said the woman who will be in the brand new hot tub on right. my back deck okay. when I put it in. You know me stock, too well. For sure. That's right. That's right. Hey, Dr. Madam, you sure you're okay? You want to grab some water? Or? I don't feel so good. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to commercial break, and, and we will be this. right back. Please breathe. Don't, don't put away. Let me see something. Well, you came to the right place because on this show we like to say things. Oh, would you please just stop being so fucking pleasant? 
I'm sorry, but not everything needs to sound so goddamn clever or charming or likable all the time. Sometimes we need to just be able to say things to one another. We need to hear things. Look, let's establish once again that there is a huge comet headed towards Earth. And the reason we know that there is a comet is because we saw it. We saw it with our own eyes using a telescope. I mean, for God's sake, we took a fucking picture of it. What other proof do we need? And if we can't all agree at the bare minimum that a giant comet the size of Mount Everest hurling its way towards planet Earth is not a fucking good thing, then what the hell happened to us? I mean, my God, how do, how do we even talk to each other? What have, we, what have we done to ourselves? How do we fix it? We should have deflected this comet when we had the fucking chance, but we didn't do it. I don't know why we didn't do it. And now they're, 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 they're actually firing scientists like me for speaking out, for opposing them. And I'm sure many of the people out there aren't even going to listen to what I just said because, you know, they have their own political ideology. But I, I assure you, I am not on one side or the other. I, I'm just telling you the fucking truth. I, I think this would be a good time to establish that, that Ishuel and the president have oh, both said that there's benefits to be right, had. Well, the president of the United States is fucking lying! Look, I, I'm just like all of you. I hope to God, I hope to God that this president knows what she's doing. I hope she's got us all taken care of. But the truth is, I think this whole administration has completely lost their fucking mind. And I think we're all gonna die. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I just want to go home more than anything. It's a good film. It's good. Uh, it's not perfect, but I like, I like. I mostly like the cut of its jib. I think like some of the metaphors are badly analogous to uh, the American election and COVID. Like, it, it, I don't think the map exactly correctly. Uh, it's very clear. Uh, the uh, political biases of uh, the, the, the 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 stars involved, uh, but then again, it's kind of universal. It doesn't point any names or say anyone is exactly anybody else. Um, it's just a thing about the general populace how they act in the face of a disaster and uh, human tendency to gra gravitate towards uh, triviality. Uh, to their own uh, doom or potential doom um, and greed. Uh, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. It had um, vibes of I don't know if anyone's seen the network from the seventies. The guy who goes, "I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore." Clip. Bam. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. And we sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! I want you to get up right now. Sit up, go to your windows, open them, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Stick your head out of the window, open it, and stick your head out, and keep yelling, and yell, I'm as mad as hell, I'm not going to take this anymore! Just get up from your chairs, right now, go to the window. What are you doing? Everybody, oh, I see everybody's yelling! Open it, and stick your head out, and yell, and keep yelling, I'm... I'm mad as hell!
it's got a bit of that to it. It's got a bit of the network, like sort sort of like the uh, uh, DiCaprio has an affair. Can it? It's not really a spoiler. He has an, an affair with Kate Blanchett, and it's all like, like all this swept up in high society and uh, a a defining moment that has shocked the world and. Um, uh, it's like fame gets to his head, and uh, yeah, no, Meryl Streep's the uh, president. So I don't know if she, she's probably an allegory for all presidents. You might say, oh, she's clearly meant to be Sarah Palin or female Trump, but she could easily be a Biden or a Harris or a Clinton. Just sociopaths concerned about the numbers and the polling data uh, rather than the pressing need. Um, there's a Steve Jobs slash Bill Gates slash Elon Musk type character who's played by the guy who played James Halliday in Ready Player One. Um, he's an interesting character. Um, he's basically playing Halliday again, and he's probably meant to be Steve Jobs, but he's also Elon Musk. I don't know. Um, very smart idiots. Uh, he's playing a very, very smart idiot, I guess. Um, and, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. It was um, heartfelt. It was... Uh, everyone did a good job. Jennifer Lawrence, that's her name. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence did a good job. Um, DiCaprio's a, a nice understated role. But they put a bit of a lantern on it quite a lot. That, oh, he's a bit too attractive to be a professor. And it's like, ha, ah, yeah, that's funny. But it, it is quite funny. And then, like, how the media react to... Uh, a scientist who's attractive and like that matters at all in the face of an apocalypse um, but no it was um, it was good It was good. it's worth a watch uh, I think like you have to bear with it at some bits because I think it's like oh it's, it, it's parody but sometimes it's a bit too real and you're a bit like oh people are stupid no ah, I can't watch it it reminds me too much of real life um but yeah, no, it's um, it's good. It's good. It's a uh, high production value. Uh, it, I laughed out loud at a couple of bits in it. Obviously, it's the funniest thing I've ever watched because it's, it's kind of a depressing film. It's a bit like Melancholia. Anyone see Melancholia? Lars von Trier, Melancholia. Why don't all these weird obscure films? Yeah, so it's it, it simulacrized a lot of um, other things. But um, I know it's, uh, it's 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 different. It's a different tone. It's uh, it's a lot like Idiocracy. If anyone's seen Idiocracy, um, and you liked Idiocracy, you'll like this. But you might have to bear with some heavy-handed political metaphors. Um, which, yeah, yeah, why not? Fair enough. Not a one-to-one -one situation comparison with COVID, but. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, yeah. You 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 see a lot of it. It's got it's got a lot of heartfelt moments. It's quite artistically shot. Some interesting editing. Oh, what's his name? Andy something, the director. Don't know what else he's done. But uh, yeah, no fun. So, and now I'm just probably gonna go on Witcher three uh, this afternoon. Let me switch. Um, do a COVID test. I'll post the results here. I imagine I'll still have a very, 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 very faint line. But it said if you get two tests with in twenty four like with twenty four hours apart and they're both clear, I'm free to go. So I reckon I might have a little tiny line on the positive um, lateral flow today. I reckon if I do one about midday tomorrow, and that's clear, and then it says that if I get the if the second one is clear, a 24 hour gap, then I'm uh, free to go. So I might be out by Thursday midday. We shall see. Anyway, that's all from me. Um, on Coof Day.
27th. <sighs> Looking forward to getting out and having a pint. Because I've drank all the beer in the house. And I'm bored of drinking in the house. <laughs>